Hey guys, my name is Sledge. Though this series is called Rocket League Life Hacks, uh, today's topic is actually relevant for a few different games. So if you're not a Rocket League player, I say welcome and apologize that most of my examples are going to be using Rocket League clips, but everything we talk about will be relevant for you as well as long as you play one of the other supported games. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the best and easiest way to make and share gaming clips on PC. So yes, I did say PC in case you missed that in the title. Um, so sorry console players, but this isn't going to work for you. The program I'm going to look at today is called GIF Your Game. This PC app captures and renders clips for Rocket League, Fortnite, PUBG, and League of Legends, with more games to be added in the future. In this video I'm going to explain how it works, as well as go through some specific features and settings for each game. Currently I'm actually running a Rocket League contest with GIF Your Game, so if you're watching this before June 8th, 2019, I invite you to check that out. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download GIF Your Game from their website. And you'll find the link in the description of this video. Um, and don't be concerned about the permissions, they're actually standard Discord permissions. So while the term access your email may sound alarming, remember you're not giving anyone your email password. So what it actually means is you're just giving GIF Your Game your email address. Now once you've logged in, the app is ready to be connected to your games without any further action by you. Uh, the only thing you need to do is pick a save clip button. Personally, I use F8. When you open up your game, the GIF Your Game app will confirm that it has connected. Um, it does have to be running in the background, but the resources it uses is pretty minimal. If something happens in game that I want to clip, all I need to do is hit F8 and GIF Your Game handles the rest. You don't have to worry about exact timing because the clip is actually taken from the replay file. So they'll be capturing footage from before and after you hit the button to create the GIF. Just note, that this can also be done after the fact from the replay file, but that option is currently only available in Rocket League. A few minutes later, you can check your GIF in two ways. If you have it set up, GIF Your Game will direct message you the clip in Discord, or you can view it directly from within the app. Now the app is where we go to make use of the other features that GIF Your Game provides. So let's take a look at those. First of all, you can copy the link and share this clip with your friends. The app also allows you to upload your clip to Reddit, Twitter, or the GIF Your Game Discord. Here you can see that right now there's an option to submit to my Sledge 3K contest that way. As for the GIF itself, it was neither rendered on your computer, nor is it actually stored there. All that is handled by the GIF Your Game machines, meaning your low-end PC doesn't prevent you from making high-quality GIFs. If you want to use your clip in a video or montage, it can be downloaded from the app. GIF Your Game's algorithms usually capture the clip perfectly, but if not, you can edit it after the fact. Now pay attention because this feature is something I see a lot of questions about and complaints that the GIF did not capture properly. So as an example, let's look at this clip. Now here the app thought I was just trying to capture the demolition. For you non-Rocket League players, a demolition is when you blow someone up. But I also want to include the resulting goal. So I click the clock symbol, which allows me to add time to the start and end of the clip. So I'm going to add 1 second to the start and 3 seconds to the end. I push submit and then wait for it to be rendered. Alright, let's see how that turned out. Perfect. Now if I want, I can go back and delete the original. Within the app, you're also able to organize the clips into folders, select favorites, as well as rename them as you like. The last feature in the app that I want to highlight is the Remix button. So this will render your GIF with a reaction clip inserted somewhere in the middle. Now I don't know how they programmed it, but the reaction clips are not random. Instead, they're usually appropriate and perfectly timed. So here's one from my buddy that I thought was pretty good. And here's one of my own that was made. There's a lot of fun to be had rendering new remixes to see what they come up with next. Alright, to finish up, let's go through some of the settings. First of all, it's good to have it launch on startup, 
because uh, remember it doesn't work unless it's running in the background. But if you don't want it to do that, that is selectable. They have a really easy watermark system, so you can add your name or logo to your GIFs, and no matter where they're shared, you're going to get the credit. You can even turn off the GIF your game watermark if you want. Each game has its own settings where you can disable the app for that particular game, select a different save clip button, or even set up auto GIF making. So because I've never played Fortnite, uh, for this tutorial I've decided to set it up to auto GIF my deaths. So I didn't even have to push a button and it clipped all my deaths as I was playing. Worked perfectly. So here's a clip of me learning that demolitions do not work in Fortnite. There's similar settings for the rest of the games. Uh, though some have specific options like disabling the heads up display in PUBG or auto gifting saves, assists, and goals in Rocket League. Discord notifications can be turned off or you can add a special bot to your own server and have your clips uploaded there. For streamers, there's a really cool tool that will post your GIF directly in your chat after they're rendered. And finally, it's nice to know that all your GIFs are saved and available to you anywhere you have internet connection. All you need to do is log into the GIF Your Game website and your clips will be there. Alright, that's the end of my tutorial. If you want to try this free app out, click the link in the description, and if you have any questions, just put them in the comment section and we'll try and get them answered for you. If you are a Rocket League player, I'd love for you to check out my other content, including the rest of my Rocket League Life Hacks series. My name is Rocket Sledge, thanks for watching.